Hi guys, it's April again. And today I am going to do that 10 facts about me video that I kept meaning to doing to to doing to do but never got around to because it's been a busy few months. So <laughs> It took me a while to decide what I am and I'm going to say because there's a lot of weird facts about me but then I was like well do I really want right now to be like hey so I'm a weirdo I'm, I'm putting them facts in a later video but at the moment I'm just doing normal ish ish facts ish about me um, just so my viewers who don't know me very well don't watch my vlogs every day can understand me a bit better personally. So let's get on with it. Fact number one. I don't have a middle name. Like you know people have middle names in between their forename and surname. I don't have a middle name. <sighs> How lonely is that? It's, it's weird. It is weird because normally people do have middle names and I obviously don't. For some reason, as a kid, I used to think that I had a middle name and just couldn't remember it. <laughs> Weirdly enough, but no, turns out I never had a middle name, so that must have been from some sort of dream. Um, number two, I am a qualified scuba diver. I don't know if you guys know that, but um, towards the end of me being at school, I, well, like ever since I was maybe eight years old, my dad's been a qualified scuba diver because one day he thought, Right, I want to try out scuba diving. He really liked it, and he did, and he did his open water advanced, and I think nitrox, I think it's called. He did them, and so he's really qualified. And um, then when I was thirteen or fourteen, we went abroad on holiday. I think it was to Mexico, and my dad said, "Right, April, we're going to get you scuba diving," and he made me do my <laughs> made me like few months before that he gave me a big revision book and said right memorize this and then when we were on holiday i did exams and stuff to get my open water so i can so i could scuba dive i can't remember to how many meters it is i will have a look in a second but um then the following holiday after that we went to egypt and i did my advanced scuba diving let me just quickly check um, so according to Google it says um, at, at the first level open water diver divers gain basic knowledge of skills equipment and theory for diving to a recommended depth of about 18 meters 60 feet and AOWD is um, described by Paddy as refi refining these skills and allowing the divers to explore a bro broader variety of from diving to a maximum depth of 30 meters which is 100 feet um so yeah i can dive to 100 feet everyone goes further than that not trying to be funny but you shouldn't <laughs> it's not it's not recommended fact number three um everyone knows that i'm at university i'm a uni student but a lot of people wonder what do I do at university and I study well currently study hopefully if you know if I don't pass this module that I recently failed then I'm, I'm then I'm no longer a uni student but on the condition I do um I am a media and screen I study media and screen studies um so basically I in my lectures I we do about television radio we do about the history of cinema we do you know we learn about cameras and equipment and we make production and stuff like that it's very interesting so yeah it's it's literally great <laughs> and it it helps with my youtube channel in a way because i get to understand what i'm doing a bit more <laughs> so yeah i, I I do enjoy my course, even though the majority of the time I'll tell you I hate it because I'm just not a person who puts in effort. 
at all. Like, I'm surprised I made it this far. Number four. I am a huge Nintendo fan, you might have noticed. I love Nintendo, I love Zelda, I love, like, my top, probably, games to play on Nintendo consoles. Probably Zelda, no, in no particular order, Zelda. Um, Professor Layton, I love Professor Layton, I've completed all the games. And I've almost completed them, the one on my phone, I've forgotten the name of it. Um, Layton's Mystery Journal, what is it? Um, Animal Crossing, I love Animal Crossing, it's great. I love every single Mario game that's been released. And I can't decide what the fifth one would be, probably Pokemon. Probably, but I do like a lot of other games as well that could beat Pokemon. I'm not really a huge Pokemon person. Like I do like Pokemon. Not gonna lie, I like I like the TV shows and I like and I do enjoy the games. But there's games that I enjoy equally as much. So I enjoy Splatoon. So that's another one. So that's quite a close runner-up. Number five, you may have noticed, I'm a huge tea fan. I will drink tea. Like no tomorrow. Seriously, I love tea. Um, my favourite kind of tea is I think it's called English breakfast tea. I'm not quite sure, but I do believe that's the actual name, English breakfast tea. And if you're not English, then you probably haven't actually had it in your country <laughs> because I've looked abroad and it's hard to find. Um, whenever I've been on holiday, they only seem to have it in the hotels that cater specifically for the English. And whenever I've spoken to people online who are American or something, they'll say, Oh, I like tea, and they'll go, Green tea or herbal tea? And it's like, no. <laughs> so I like English breakfast tea. It's basically tea. <laughs> but you, you can put sugar in it and you can put milk in it. It's nice, okay? It's nice. And here in England... If you're going to be friends with someone, you have to know how they like their tea because tea can be complicated to make. If you if you know off by heart how somebody likes their tea, like how much milk and if there's any sugar and if so, how much sugar, you have made a friend there for life. Seriously. <laughs> I'm laughing at, like, because it sounds so stupid and cliche. Like... Countries will be like, oh, well, the fact that English people really like tea is just a stereotype. But seriously, the amount of conversations I've had over tea drinking, not even within the past lifetime, like, but within the past maybe day. <laughs> I talk about tea a lot and the weather. Oh, I'm an old woman. Next up, one thing that a lot of you don't know. But also a lot of you do know, I have Asperger's Syndrome. Now, Asperger's Syndrome is a type of autism. Well, it's on the autistic spectrum. So it's quite similar to autism and it's basically, I'm... Like, it doesn't affect me personally a lot. It affects different people in different ways. It mostly just affects me because in, in, like, social communication. Because I don't quite know where the line is and what to not say. Um, so I can come off as quite rude and abrupt quite often. Um, I also feel awkward talking to people sometimes and then other times I'll talk too much to strangers <laughs> and just can't quite get the right balance of what is the social norm which, which is very hard when trying to like hold down jobs and stuff and you call the customer ugly and you're like well why, why can I not say that? that that's a bit of an over exaggeration I haven't called a customer ugly but you know what I mean it's that sort of thing if you want to look up Asperger's syndrome online you can I might leave a yeah, link to some sort of random page in the description if you want to learn more about it poor April I also love TV soap operas mostly Emmerdale and Coronation Street they're like the actual proper ones I watch I watch them every day, I love them, and I watch them on repeats. So I, I watch each episode like three, four times. 
well, that might be an exaggeration, maybe two or three times. Um, I don't prefer one out to the other, but I do flip between the two. So, like, one week I'll say, oh, I love Coronation Street, and the following week I'll be like, oh, I love Emmerdale. But then, you know, it just keeps flicking, so ultimately I do like them equal amounts, to be honest. You might have seen in my vlogs, I've been to both tours, the Emmerdale and Coronation Street tour. I don't know if I filmed the Coronation Street tour, I don't think I did, but I definitely did the Emmerdale one. And I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I have David's bag somewhere. Yeah. Next up, um, my top two favourite singers are Selena Gomez and Emma Blackberry, who are two very different people. Um, in every way, but for some reason I still love them both. As you know, I love Selena Gomez. I've been a huge fan of Selena Gomez since maybe year, year six. So I was about 10 or 11 years old. I've been, you know, I watched Wizards of Waverly Place and found out she sings. And I was a huge fan ever since then, like proper obsessed fan. I once saw her on, in concert, I went all the way to London to see her at the Apollo. Um, back in, I can't remember what year it was, but it was, um, it was the Stars Dance concert and it was so good, <laughs> like really good. That was when I was in like year 10 or 11, I can't remember, not, not 11, maybe nine, I don't know. So yeah, she was really good, love her. And, She's American, she's all right. Um, Emma Blackray is a YouTuber who also does music. She's a lot less popular than Selene Gomez, but she's still quite popular in, she's very popular popular, popular on YouTube. And I, I love her videos and I love all her songs. I've also seen Emma Blackray in concert and I did a vlog about that, which is good. And I also filmed the entire thing of that. It was so good. I love, I love, I love them both. And Emma's, um, um, they're not American. Emma's British. Number nine, I'm bisexual, kind of. Why I say kind of is because I feel like sexuality can be quite complicated. Therefore, fair enough, we should be able to label straight and gay. But I feel like they're all on one line, one end straight, one end gay. And then of course, like the middles bisexual and I don't think we should be giving each part of the line names if that makes sense. I might be looking at sexuality in the wrong way but that's the way I see it. We shouldn't really be labelling that kind of mid-ground because it's just because there's so many different names for such similar things like pansexual. I know pansexual and bisexual are different but they're very similar. No one can doubt that they're very similar. So, why can't we just say we like both men and women instead of giving names? It'd be a lot easier. If this video gets to five likes, I will do a video on my sexuality. No, not five likes, eight likes. If I, if I can get eight likes on this video, I will do a video talking about my sexuality. <laughs> Number 10, the final fact, I hate the snow. Can't stand it, not one bit. Snow is horrible. I don't even like seeing it outside. If I'm in the nice warm house, I don't like seeing it outside because I dread the idea of going outside and I don't like being it. I don't like being trapped inside all the time, but at the same time, I don't want to go out in the snow. Whenever I'm out in the snow, it's horrible because this is England, it's not all light and fluffy, it turns into ice and you slip on your bum every two seconds and then spend the rest of the day in wet clothes. I hate snow so much, I hate it more than rain or hailstone. Because hailstone tends not to set, does it, like snow does. So we're not stuck with it on the ground for days on end. I'm a miserable sod. I also don't like sun, so I can't win. I don't I don't really like weather in general. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My bar stops falling down. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
yeah, and comment below letting me know what you thought of this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I've got tearing on my mouth. Uh, <laughs> I realise I spent this whole video ranting about shit. Sorry about that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Once again, eight likes, and I'll do a video on my sexuality. Yeah, and I'll see you on 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 tomorrow on Saturday with another video vlog yeah bye